what's up guys welcome back to another video so in this video today i'll be showcasing our free tweaking utility which is called ronin tweaks version 1.4 so if you guys are facing a uh, bad input delay low fps stutters then this tool will definitely help you out it is meant to completely optimize your pc with just a few clicks and with a very clean retro themed interface so before we get started, I also want to let you guys know about our ultimate tweaking utility, which is releasing very, very soon. So with our ultimate tweaking utility, we have several optimizations. We have uh, a lot of real time optimizations. And uh, if the free tweaking utility worked well for you, then you can best bet the ultimate tweaking utility will be 10 or 20 times better. So stay tuned for that and make sure to join our discord server, which will be linked in the description below. So let's get started. Do. All right, so first what you guys want to do is head down to the description below and join our discord server So once you're in our discord server to download the free tweaking utility What you need to do is go to the free download channel right here And uh, you will have to get a download code, which is very simple All you need to do is type in this command in bot commands So if I were to just copy this go to bot commands and just type in the same command that was in the channel the bot will send me a download code which I can use to then download the free tweaking utility. So I'm just going to go here, I'm going to copy this. And then uh, uh, you have to insert this code into our website. So I have our website opened right here which is ronintweaks.com. So let me just showcase the website real quick. So this is our official website for Ronin Tweaks. So you can see here we have a quick little sneak peek uh, or slash preview for our Ronin Tweaks Ultimate which is releasing very very soon. We have some uh, features listed here. We also have some benchmarks free version. The, the comprehensive benchmarks for the Ultimate version will be releasing uh, very very soon so stay tuned for that. So now to download the free tweaking utility we need to go to the download tab and make sure to turn off defender because defender trips like crazy with unknown files. So uh, yeah uh, guys don't worry this is 100% safe. The, uh, all products by ronintweaks.com you can rest assured that it's completely safe. We have strict procedures in uh, getting out very secure and reliable downloads to people using our, pro uh, our software products. So you can also read more about false positive detections, why some anti-scanners uh, may flag our software due to the code protection methods we use is essentially because of code obfuscation and also because uh, tweaking utilities do a lot of registry changes. So that may seem malicious to some antivirus scanners, but in our case, it's completely safe. So yeah, make sure to check this out, which is slash download slash false positives. So I'm going to go back. Uh, and, and then you just need to go to the virus and threat protections, manage settings, and just turn off real time protection. And then you just insert the code that you got from the discord bot and then just click download. And then it should, it, it should pop up here. And then you can see it says dangerous download block. So to solve that, what you need to do is go to the downloads, uh, click these three dots and just press download dangerous file. And then what you have to do is, uh, open this and then extract it to the to your desktop so this is the official ronin tweaks c8 live launcher so this is what takes care of all updates uh etc and also this is completely open source so if you were to go to the discord i we just posted an announcement so if you go to our github yeah i have it open right here so this uh launcher is completely open source so all the detection are just false positives you can view exactly what this launcher does by going to our official github page github.com slash ronin tweaks slash ronin tweaks dash launcher so make sure to check that out as well so now to actually launch the free tweaking utility what you need to do is just launch it run anyway and give it administrator permission and then you'll get a quick uh, pop-up saying welcome to ronin tweaks cli installer preparing to install slash update application so what you have to do is just press ok so right now it's downloading the latest version. All right, so the download was completed successfully. So now it's going to launch the Ronin to see a live free tweaking utility. Make sure to read our terms of services. So I'm just going to accept it. Guys, make sure to create a system restore point before applying any, any, any tweaks. Uh, even if you guys are not using Ronin tweaks, make sure to create a system restore point before applying any tweaks 
because it provides a save recovery option if any issues occur. You can easily reverse system changes if needed and you can protect your system configuration. So I'm just gonna press create restore point. And so now it says system restore point created successfully. So now you just press okay and press continue. Now it will take a few seconds to initialize the system analytics. All right, so this is essentially how the main um, uh, view of the application that looks like. So to get your custom role for Ronin to CLI, what you need to do is just copy this command and head over to our Discord server, head back to bot commands, and just press and just uh, copy and paste that there. So I already used it so that's why it says this id already has been used but if you guys were to do it you'll receive the ronin 2 cli role so anyways uh we have some performance monitors system statistics and uh general uh system info and then to go to the tweaks manager what you have to do is press any key and then uh, we'll get a guide that opens up so type a number and press enter to select an option press b to go back to the previous menu press q to quit the application and finally press h to show this help again so i'm going to press ok so this is our free tweaking utility so it's a very clean retro themed interface so we have cur currently we have 28 optimization categories and there's 300 plus uh tweaks combined uh in those optimization categories so now I'll go through all the categories and explain what, they, what what each does. So first we have system tweaks. So we have optimized windows, general enhancements, explorer performance enhancements, process response optimization, advanced privacy and notification control. So what this category is aimed to do is completely optimize your windows. So if you want to um, view more information about each tweak, you would just need to uh, enter the option uh, number and press enter so like that and then you can see optimize your windows system for better performance reduce resource usage and improve user experience and to apply it you just enter on apply to revert you would enter on revert and if you want to go back you just enter on back so now i'm going to go back and go to through the other um uh categories so secondly we have the input device tweaks so general keyboard enhancement general mouse enhancements which is pretty self-explanatory so I'll go back network tweak so we have network protocol optimization optimized network throttling gaming network priority DNS acceleration and go back and we have some CPU tweaks spe CPU specific optimizations AMD CPU optimizations Intel CPU optimization general power perform uh, a general power profile optimization so essentially if you guys wanted to apply this tweak you can either choose uh, AMD or Intel, or you can let the application detect which uh, CPU you guys are running, and it'll automatically apply the best settings. So yeah, so it says dynamically optimize performance settings based on your G CPU architecture to maximize processing efficiency. So now let's go back, let's go back, and we also have GPU tweaks, so GPU specific optimizations, AMD GPU optimizations, nvidia gpu optimizations and intel gpu optimizations so let's go back we also have power tweaks high performance power settings running tweaks power plan beta let's go back uh, we also have advanced bios analysis we have ram tweaks so the software where will detect how much ram you have and apply the best settings uh based on that uh, let's go back Debloat, we also have Debloat. Make sure to um, stay cautious when using the Debloat category as it deletes uh, some system files. So if you guys want the safest option uh, in the Debloat category, I would suggest just do the first one, which is System Cleanup. It just cleans up the temporary files and system artifacts to free up some disk space and potentially improve system performance. So yeah, let's go back. We also have an additional tab which contains Phantom Boost Beta. So let me just preview that real quick. So this is essentially a real-time optimizer. So to actually use it, you would first press one, which uh, is to select processes to optimize. And then it takes a few seconds and uh, it'll load up the processes that are currently running. So I have all this running right now. And uh, all you need to do is type in the process ID so for example, say I wanted to optimize Discord, I'll just copy that and place that there. 
and press enter. So now we have selected the process discord. Now you can select the optimization level, mild, moderate, aggressive. So I'm just going to go with mild and uh, it'll take a few seconds. All right guys, so the discord was successfully optimized. And to verify that, what you have to do is press zero to go back to the main menu. And uh, to view the optimized processes, all you need to do is press two. And then you can see here, the optimization on Discord is active. And now to remove the optimization that was applied on Discord, what you have to do is enter three and uh, just type in the process ID again. So I'm gonna copy and paste that over here. Oh, you can also do zero and it'll unoptimize all the processes that you have optimized. So now I'm gonna press enter. It has removed the optimization for the following process ID, which is Discord. And now go back. And then to finally, to quit this mode, all you have to do is press four and it quits the application. So now let me also uh, quickly showcase how to, how the uh, tweak uh, applying actually works. So I'm just gonna launch the application again, run it as admin and it'll take a couple seconds to launch because it checks for updates. So system restore point, make sure to create a restore point as I said earlier. Now just press continue. All right, so, all right, so say I wanted to apply uh, RAM tweaks, right? So I would just need to enter eight, apply. So it detects how much RAM you have. So in my case, I have 96 gigs. So now it'll just say all optimizations have been applied successfully. Remember to restart system. And then if you press any key, it'll take you back to the menu. And now to revert this change, what you have to do is click on revert and it'll take a few seconds to re revert the changes. So all optimizations have been reverted successfully. Remember to restart system and yeah, so press any key to continue. So that's it for this video guys. Uh, make sure to like, comment and subscribe please. And also remember to join our Discord server. Our ultimate tweaking facility is releasing very, very soon. And here are a few sneak peeks. So we have core analyzer, zero delay tweaks, uh, keep in mind this is all work in progress so most of it is just placeholder text but it'll look different when it's uh, more closer to release but these are the sneak peeks if you guys want to check it out and this is a tweaks category so we're going to have general system cpu gpu memory network peripherals storage processes power bios additional so yeah guys so if the free tweaking utility works well for you then you can best bet that the ultimate tweaking utility will be 10 or 20 times better we have a, a lot of stuff planned so make sure to join our discord server and uh yeah make sure to like comment and subscribe uh keep tweaking and optimizing and i'll see you in the next one sure